Hey guys, welcome back to Battle Cats. So as you can probably already tell, the Evangelion collab is back. And they got a couple of new Ubers. The first one is One-Eyed Asuka, long range area attack specialist who strikes 100% curse and fire surge attacks. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Increased attack damage against colossal enemies while taking less damage from them as well. Also immune to enemy toxic attacks. That actually sounds like it could be a good Uber. The Evolve form has the exact same description, so I'm not sure if it actually adds anything or if it's just a different look. The other new Uber is Eva Unit 13. I don't know what it is, but it looks an awful lot like Eva Unit 01, which apparently now has a true form. This is actually the only Uber that I don't have in the set now, guys, because it's a new one. I have all the other angels here and I have Ray as well. Pretty cool. So what is this EVA Unit 13? Strong versus Aku enemies with rapid area attacks that fire mini surges. Immune to surge attack damage. Okay, and uh, it upgrades into EVA Unit 13 and cat. Nothing else changes, apparently. It's just, there, there's a cat now. So guys, I'm not planning on rolling any of these capsules today, but if you wanna see that, this is on for another 10 days so I can do it in another video. We've got some important stuff to do today. Oh, hey. We actually have even more important things than I thought. Empress's Excavation 4 is on and Empress's Report 5. So I need to get those done, okay? Those unlock like new eggs, I think. I don't know, there's so many friggin' eggs in this game now. Archaeology 401, Methods. What was this one? Ugh. That was kind of gross. It's probably not gonna be the same thing, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and take my loadout from that one and give it a shot. By the way, guys, we are on version 12.5 of Battle Cats now, and they added something really interesting to the game in this update. Take a look at the cat CPU. Hit it once to activate it, hit it again, and it becomes golden. I don't know what the description said before, guys, but now it says this. Leave the battle to the cat CPU. It's only useful to a point having been programmed by mere cats, but it's just advanced enough to handle stages you've previously cleared. So now you can use your cat CPUs to complete a stage without actually having to play it as long as you've already done it before. But I think it takes two cat CPUs if you want to do that. Like I tried it on the uh, one of the behemoth stone levels. Let me see, Ashvini Desert, Scorching Sands, and then I pop that on and attack. Use two cat CPUs to skip the battle. You have 10 skips left today. You can skip battles now. That's crazy! No, seriously, that is actually kind of crazy, guys. I uh, didn't think they were gonna add like a battle skip type of thing. I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, if you get a good sale on cat CPUs, maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna go in here and try and uh, not die. All I know is there's gonna be behemoths. I'm getting out of here. I don't like that already. That's a uh, blackened zombie for sure. So let's uh, switch it up. How about I just use my behemoth loadout? because it's already kind of what I would pick. We got some good anti-zombie units here, and then we've got, you know, anti-black. I'm not that worried about black anyway. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's try that. Here we go. Bonk. All right, one thing is dead. Here comes another one. Maybe we try and, uh, no, stop. I want the, don't do that. Oh God. I was hoping that the can-can uh, can could get us some extra money, you know? But apparently, nah. That's cool. That's, oh, here comes, uh, what is that guy's name? Red Energy or something like that, the hyena. All right, Red Energy is dead. And we just need to hopefully get this guy. Guess what? Nala is immune to wave attacks. Nala don't even care. Oh my God. At least I think that's a thing. Let me take a look, I'm not even sure. Yeah, it's uh, immune to waves and surges and curses. Yeah, don't even, don't even try. Okay. Okay, so the question is, what do I do while I wait for uh, Nala to come back? Because we're going to be in bad shape if we don't do something here. I don't even have a lot of money at the moment. Just die, please. Uh-oh, that's a seal. We don't like that. Get back. Don't do the thing. Okay, we're going we're gonna to be okay. Here comes Doron again. All right. Doron makes the world a better place. That's for sure. Man, look at that. That's like a, a wave that sometimes slows as well, I think. Oh, God, that's that's a freeze. That's not a slow. That's terrible. Don't do that. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose. Don't, don't, don't kill me. Nala, help me. Oh, my God. Nala, help me. 
I always love a good clutch, guys. <laughs> and that was really close. Oh no. Oh no. Please. And. No. 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 Don't. Oh god. Ran out of units, man. Ran out of units. Couldn't deploy anymore. Gonna use the 30 cat food. Continue. I don't care. Okay, I think we're good, guys. I just didn't feel like uh, coming back to this stage when we're so close to having beat it already. So, uh, should be good. Man, those those zombies. Sometimes it helps to, uh, I don't know, bring a holy blast. Okay. What are you giving me this time? A legend cat size. I told you guys, they give out legend cat size in this game like candy. I don't even need them. I mean, I could use them, but I already got level 50 for the legends that I use, which is pretty great. Okay, Empress's report. F oh, this is this is brand new. I don't know how I feel about that. This is Aku Studies. What, what did the other one say? It's gone. We'll never know. Cat Researcher, Gridiron Cat, and Fiend Cat. Three very nice true form anti-Aku units. Let's go! Big money, big money, no whammies. I don't know how I feel about like this being the fifth stage. You know, we just did the fourth one, a, a number four of some sorts. Now we're doing this freaking number five. Probably not gonna be easy, but then again, we got this new Aku Researcher, which is really good at hitting things. It does it all fast and whatnot. Oh, look who it is of all the people. What's up, my dude? Do you like dying? I hope so. Back it up. Watch out, Nala. Nala. Oh god. That wasn't even like a big deal. I'm not gonna continue this time. Okay, we're just gonna do better. Feels like it's been a long time since I've actually used this cat, guys. So let's go ahead and bring out Bomber Cat. You know what might be really nice here, guys? Maybe I'm being crazy, but I feel like maybe meat shields would be appropriate. I don't even think we need this. I'll leave Gridiron in, but let's go for double erasers. I feel like I've really been like neglecting meat shields lately. I don't think there's actually any behemoths in this stage, but I decided to keep Nala anyway. Look at this, guys. I got a full loadout of true forms. So beautiful. I love that like golden background. We're taking our time. We're not in a rush. Now here comes all this stuff, but we got Bomber Cat, so he's frozen now. I mean, that's all we needed to do, right? Just needed a little freeze. It's a lot harder. <laughs> It's a lot harder to win when you're frozen, man. Okay, so this stage was a bit of a joke. I thought there was gonna be more to it than that, but three Cadman C's, that's good with me. All right, guys, that was a nice little warm up. Now it's time to face the hardest stage ever created in Battle Cats. Sort of, but not really. Welcome to Reign of the Tyrant, Infernal Tyrant 1. There's actually four stages, I believe, in this one. Four total stages, and the last one is brutal. What's brutal, you ask? Well, apparently it comes after Merciless. These are the four stages, and as... So these are the four stages, and as you can see, deadly, merciless, merciless, brutal. Infernal Tyrant Climax. Now that's a title. Okay, uh, there are seven units in this. I'm gonna get in there, try it out, change some stuff up. It's gonna be okay. All right, we have... An angel. We have an Aku. Oh, uh, I don't like that. I don't like a Zalo. I don't want a Zalo in my level. Well, this one is just, um, just deadly. Deadly's not that big of a deal, right? There he is, folks! The guy in the chair is no longer in a chair. He's standing up. Look at those beautiful legs. Oh my God. Um, guys, I'm just curious, is this guy wearing clothes or what? I want to say he isn't. I mean, you can see his abs. He definitely doesn't have a shirt on, but he's, uh, you know, that's quite revealing. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a whole lot of, uh, well, nothing, but you know. Okay, um, this, that's a pretty freaky attack. I don't even know what the heck happened. Love how he doesn't spill his wine, man. Like, how, do, how, how are you not spilling your wine right now, bro? That's crazy. Um... We need to do a little more of a push here, okay? We need to get to the guy. That's right, hit him. Okay, so we're doing damage to him, but like I have no idea how much health he has, and we're not looking super great. I feel like I'm not doing enough like overall damage to things. Well, pizza definitely helps, but like 
getting close enough to him now to do something, that's the problem. I don't know what he's immune to either. Like, he might have some immunities we need to worry about. I'll take a look at him in a second, okay? Let's just see if we can salvage this level first. Come on, you guys, you can do it. You can do it. Get in there. Get in there. He's only doing a tiny little bit of damage. 20,000 or so. 10,000 damage to the base. Bro, come on. Okay, it is feeling a little impossible now. Cool. Cool little attack you got there too, my dude. 53%, if we had like, you know, a specialized loadout, that would have been just fine. Um, apparently the enemies change depending on the level, so we're gonna have to come up with a few loadouts. Um, really nothing here is that bad, I think. I don't even really know if we need to worry that much about the Zalo. Just make a couple changes, we'll be all right. We don't need Bomber Cat, obviously. Don't really feel like this is necessary either. We're not fighting behemoths, so we should probably not use this. How about we just get all my uh, best friends up in here? We'll get Fishman, we'll get uh, Slime Cat. It'll be a great time. Okay, I'm almost done this loadout, but I'm also not because I wanted to take a look at him first to see what the guide says about him. Because like if we can knock him back, then I'll probably do a bunch of knockbacks to him and that'll keep him away from the base because we want to have a lot of space because of his long-ranged attack. But again, at least that attack isn't that strong. Infernal Tyrant Neandum. Aku, look at this beautiful man. Wow, wait. After 560,000 years, return to our world in the form of an infernal tyrant to take a photo for a blind date. Plans to impress them with his height, high grades, and high blood sugar. What kind of description is that? I'm at a loss for words here. Okay, so this guy doesn't have anything special going on? He's not immune to anything? He might be. With some of the highest stats in the game, this enemy is truly devastating. His first hit essentially destroys everything he hits at normal range. And if that wasn't enough, he will hit the back lines with a 30% toxic attack through his second and third hit. Combined with his various immunities, extreme health, and three knockbacks, he can prove a nightmare even to the best prepared especially when his support enters play. Ew! He's not fully unbeatable, however. His second and third hits have two blind spots between 400 to 500 and 800 to 1,000, respectively. So units within these areas are safe until he pushes. 30% toxic is a big number, but may not impede you from sending more units to stall him. Okay. He can be stalled with uh, Metal Macho or Jiangxi, so uh, that's a good start. And apparently uh, using Weed Whacker is a good idea as well. I'm just, yeah, I don't need, say no more. I got it. Even though they mentioned Weed Whacker, I, uh, I kind of want to take Fiend instead. And I'm going to go ahead and replace Gridiron with that. Fiend has a knockback, and I feel like a knockback will be just as effective as a freeze. I could be wrong, but I want to try this first because it's the way I wanted to try it. It's important to do what feels right for you even if someone tells you it's not right, okay? You know best. Okay, in this situation, I don't know best. In this situation, other people know a lot more than I do, but that's fine, all right? We're gonna have a good time. So because this is just the first of the four, this stage probably isn't gonna be that bad. Right now, I'm just stalling a little bit so I can get my, my, my wallet maxed. And we can start the push. I don't know when to use Yukimura. Let's see what happens. Very nice wave attack here. Come on, push through it, push through it. Uh, I think Fiend, nope, Fiend is not dead, but can Fiend knock him back? Is that a thing? If not, I guess Weed Whacker will be better. Don't do it! No, oh God! <laughs> that was a bad time to use Yukimura, I'll tell you that. Okay, we're doing some damage with Yukimura. Now Yukimura is dead. I feel like that's gonna be a common theme. A Little bit of damage, a little bit of death. Yeah, I don't think you can knock this guy back. I don't think that's a thing you can do because it ain't happening. Except for his, like, you know, built-in knockback for when he hits a certain amount of health. So that's good to, good to know. Good to, good to keep in mind. Guess I should have just went with Weed Whacker, but it's cool. I'm having a good time, and we're going to win. Okay, we've uh, we've knocked him back twice now, guys. I think he has one more knockback, and then he dies. Um, not 100% sure on that, but we'll find out soon enough. Come on. Yeah, baby. Just love all the damage we're doing to him, man. And, we, and he, he hasn't really went anywhere, which is beautiful. 
And look at that. Slime Cat was in the blind spot there. Beautiful, man. Dude. Oh, okay. He was in the blind spot, but he uh, he can't attack fast enough to actually get a hit in there. There we go. We're done. That's uh, the deadly stage complete, which is the you know the least of my worries, obviously. But I, I, th I think we'll be pretty good for the next couple as well. Maybe the brutal stage will, uh, you know, stop me in my tracks. Infernal Tyrant 2, Merciless. Um, I'm just gonna get in there. Oh, what? Dude, don't come out right away. What the heck are you doing? Who the heck does he think he is, man? Okay, we're supposed to make a lot of money off these things, guys. So Can Can's gonna scoop all that money up so that he can't advance too far, and maybe we'll be okay. Really should have changed that uh, that fiend cat out. I will for the next one. If we beat this one, I will. Uh, I'll I'll change it for the next one. And if we lose, then I'll change it before we try again. Okay, money is looking good here. Definitely not one of my complaints at the moment. Stack in that cash. No big deal. Do another attack, and I'm gonna send in my Yukimura. Go oh no! Damn it! I <laughs> thought he was gonna do the attack, and I and I hit a little too early. Didn't realize he was gonna get knocked back first. Oopsie. Okay, this time Yukimura is doing some hits, guys. Uh, he did. He got two in. Two's good enough. Okay. That was uh, a walk in the park. That was. I mean, I guess it was about the same difficulty as the previous stage, but yeah, not not bad at all. Which has me confident I can at least get through number three, which is also merciless. Number three. I'm just gonna go make a single change, okay? Actually, guys, I'm also uh, gonna replace my meat shields. I'm gonna have Jiangxi and uh, Metal Macho instead because they are uh, able to tank more hits. Between the two of them, they'll probably be better than the erasers. And we have our Weed Whacker now too. So let's see what happens. First of all, probably gonna be a completely different set of uh, units this time. Okay, we got some more Aku, not a big deal. Goodbye. Oh, look, the dog is back, guys. That crazy dog. Well, it's dead. Grab some money, I suppose. Oh, this doesn't seem too bad. We're not we're not in a, a rush to do anything, right? Oh god, no. Do you have to have the Aku Gorilla here? That's the worst. I hate that. I have no money. I need money. Thank you, Can Can. Very cool. Okay, he's already hitting the base, guys. It's only a, you know, uh, a fairly weak attack, of course, but yeah, it looks like this one's what? All not not all Aku, almost all Aku kind of gross, but you know, that's life. Can you stop hitting my base, bro? Okay, so what you're saying is we need more anti-Aku. That's fine with me. I'm not gonna worry about that one alien. That's not a big deal. 84%, that was bad. Okay, let's try this. A lot more Aku focus, obviously, because this level has a lot more Akus in it. All right. I just, I really hate that we can't, like, sort of take our time on this one, you know? Not really, uh... Not really a thing. We can get some, uh, some, you know, extra cash, though. I don't know who's supposed to take out these Akus, because Can Can has a hard time doing it. I guess Pizza's gonna have to do it. It, it. it went pretty well, actually. We're okay. We're okay. Okay, do your hit, and go. Gotta get rid of these things. Get out of here. Get out of here! Oh, we actually froze this guy. That's the good stuff. That's what we want to do. We need to do that, like, a hundred thousand more times, and we'll be okay. Honestly, if we can just get rid of this stupid thing here. Come on, Can Can, can you hit this thing? Why won't you just die, bro? What the heck? Okay, so we we were doing pretty good here. Now the uh, the Akus are back again, and we're obviously taking lots of damage. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Some money. Some money. We we're okay. So got some money. Go. We need to kill it. Kill it. Okay, we knocked you back, that's cool, but what about your little friend over here, man? What the heck is he doing? I really need it to be dead right now. Do I need to take... Oh, no, we're good. I was gonna say, do I need to take Seafarer with me? Because that'd be silly, wouldn't it? We can't let this guy advance. That's the most important thing, and he ain't. Wait, is he? Oh, no. I think he is, guys. Come on, Weed Whacker. You gotta stop this guy, because nobody else can. Okay. Seriously, come on, we can do this. 
We can do this. We just need a little bit more. Just a little bit more. He's not doing like any damage to us. We're good. Come on, 14,000 health left on this base, guys. We need, yes! Yeah, baby! Take that, Akos! Well, this is uh, this is going good, guys. We are we are moving on to the brutal stage, the first ever brutal difficulty. Huh. All right. There's nothing. I don't know why I thought there was gonna be something. It just felt like a bit of an achievement, you know? Nope. No, we're good. We're good. This this is where the achievement is, guys. Oh. Infernal Tyrant Climax. The brutal. Climax is here. Okay, I think there's a bunch of relics in this one guys, but I'm not completely sure But it's only 200 energy. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check it out. Just go for a little walk in here. All right. Oh, yeah, that looks that looks promising Now, how do you feel about not coming out right away? Thank you. That's great. Okay. We also have that really difficult gorilla guys. I forget his name, but He's annoying, but we killed him. We killed him. We're gonna get some money. Everybody slow down now, okay? We're not ready for this. Please, stop. There you go, the squirrels will take care of you. <laughs> I think they might. Hey, now we just got pizza! This is the best case scenario because pizza's so slow. Look at me saving money. Look at me killing stuff. Any more, any, any more of those? You wanna send them out? Come on! Okay, here he is, and we have a freaking r -ost to worry about. And we are worried about it, I know I am. We, uh, we need something good, obviously. I think we can just use, like, Doron. Doron and Nala or something. We can ditch our anti-Aku units, and maybe we'll be okay. I mean, it's a brutal stage, guys. I'm not gonna beat it on my first try or anything. Okay. Yeah. We just need something good. Some good anti-relic, okay? Okay, so the one thing I want to keep here, guys, is the Weed Whacker. Because the Weed Whacker can actually freeze this guy. But only if we can get through the Ostrich first. So the goal is, save up our money and get these two. So that's 100% free slash knockback versus Relic, which is obviously very nice. And then we've got 100% chance to weaken Relics. So if we, can, if we can get that going, that Ostrich won't be so bad. We might need some uh, wave blocking, but let's see how this goes. The main the main thing here being, you know, Doron and Nala. So if we can do the whole Doron-Nala thing to get rid of the bird, we'll be in better shape for sure. Okay, we've already got lots of money. We just need to not die right here. That's all. There we go. Okay, okay. So we got our, uh, we got our, our Doron and Nala. We got enough money for the two of them. So here goes. Doron Nala. So he's gonna get in here and freeze that. Or at least knock it back a million billion times. And then Nala can do some work on it here. And even Yukimura can. Especially with that being weakened now. Things are a lot better. Okay, yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. It's a good thing I got that Nala. And it's 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 dead, but we'll get to get a, get another one at some point, right? Maybe? Another Doron anyway, That's that'll be a big help, because boop, away you go. <laughs> and the ostrich is gonna kill us again. Wait, okay, okay, that's, uh, that's how life is. And look at that stupid toucan trying to make his way over here, I hate that. We didn't do a lot of damage to him, that's for sure. Huh, I'm gonna try and use Bad Blaster Saki here, guys, instead of Yukimura. Because Saki can do some good damage to relics, so hopefully that will take out the bird. That's the big thing. Let's put on a rich cat and a cat CPU. I don't know if I'll be able to really use the cat CPU, but it's nice to throw the two of them in together. Um, turn it off right away. And hope for the best. Now we don't have to actually, you know, spend time leveling up, which will be nice. It'll give us more money to use Saki. I, uh, I have Nala out faster this time, because I was thinking the knockback would, uh, you know, do this, and then Nala can actually do some stuff with Doron here, hopefully. And we're gonna leave Saki for a minute, all right? A lot of stuff is gonna die here. We wanna have good positioning on the ostrich, so we're gonna wait until he comes out a little further. Okay, let's try now. Come on, Saki! Pow, look at that. Here comes Doron again. Oh, we're looking way better this time. Pow! It's still alive, but we're doing damage. Okay, uh, Saki died, guys. 
We knew Saki was gonna die eventually, but like, man. I feel like we need, we need more stuff to deal with this ostrich. I guess Saki didn't quite cut it. It's just, it's difficult, man. It's difficult to deal with that thing. Well, I have Nala now. It's a little, a little bit late, that's all. <laughs> you know what? If we just did that a little differently, it could have worked out, okay? Okay, it recommends online that I use slapsticks to deal with, uh, to deal with the ostrich. I didn't realize slapsticks would do the trick here, so definitely want to use them. And I should also apparently take a wave shield with me. That does mean giving up something. I think I might give up this guy. We need more money. We need more money really badly. Come on, just a little bit. Just a little bit of money so I can get my thing. Come on, come on, here it comes. We're dead. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I can't beat the guy. Someone help me. Here's something I can do. I can get Exorcist Cat. It said in the, uh, it said on the wiki that this is a good cat to get. Okay, so there goes some more of our uh, behemoth stones. And there it is. Exercise any paranormal activity in 30 minutes or less. Even the most stubborn spirit can't resist its garlic stench. Behemoth Slayer, small chance to freeze Aku enemies. We're gonna try this guy, I guess, with Weed Whacker. I don't really feel like that's gonna make a big difference when it comes to the whole relic situation, though. I still don't have that figured out. Oh, okay, we got the freeze on Neandum here. Here's another freeze. And there, there goes that. That was fine for a minute. I mean, it's gonna be hard to freeze this guy for a long period of time with with him being backed up by the ostrich, so. Seems like uh, we're actually doing pretty good against the ostrich this time. I'm trying to, try not to use too much money here. Okay, another loss. These are, these are painful. I sh I'm using my rich cats up, that's, that's painful too. I, d I don't even know if I need to be doing that. Okay, there's one unit I could have put in that I didn't, guys, and maybe I should try it. That's Itty and two. Maybe instead of Doron. I don't know if Doron's really helping that much because knocking back the ostrich just means that more things die from Neandum. So let's try with Itty. If we get a good, like a good opportunity, we can probably do a bunch of damage. Oh, what did we just do? I think we got rid of it, guys. We have our, uh, we have everything else kind of set up already. Like the ostrich was the main part that was causing us issues. So we might be able to actually do this now. Like, I think that's the majority of the enemies taken care of. I managed to keep Nala alive so long in this one, so I'm really hoping this turns into a win. That'd be so nice. Can Can, please kill. Please just kill. Can Can? Can Can, please. Come on, Can Can, you can do it, right? No, you're dead? Can Can, you're dead? That should have been a win. Now there's no way I'm gonna stop until I beat it. All right, guys, so I just tried again and I failed because Nala did not do what she did last time. This time I have a rich cat on and I'm just gonna try again. I think the rich cat might give me the edge that I need now, now that I know what I'm doing. Okay, second Nala. Second Nala is where it's at, okay? We love the second Nala, don't we, folks? Freeze, stop. And Itty. Oh wait, we already got the ostrich gone now. So we don't even need Itty. What we do need is a nice wave blocker. Come on, we need to deal with this bird. Kill the bird. Kill the bird, do it. I do not want to die because of a stupid bird, okay? It's not what I want. Come on, dude, no! No! Dad, it's chicken! Oh my God, guys, this is brutal. I can't seem to get past this part now. I, th I could have taken Nala out there and I didn't. Oh my God. 80, I don't care about this. I just need to get rid of the freaking bird. Okay, we have a Phonoa. We have a Phonoa. This is not a drill. Come on, Pho Oh my God. Bro, can we just take out like two more things? The bird is dead. I repeat, the bird is dead. We even managed to... What? What? Come on, you just need to kill the bird. Just kill the bird. Don't worry about anything else. Just take out the freaking bird. Get him. Oh, okay, bird is dead. Bird is dead. We have no health left on the base. Holy crap. Holy, I can't, I can't do this all day, guys. I'm sorry, I tried so hard. 
it is a brutal stage, okay? So, you can't say I didn't try my best. I've been recording for two hours and 27 minutes. I tried. No more brutal stages. Please and thank you. This is the end of the video. Go watch this video and make sure you smash the like button before you leave. Thank you.